Join us now, uh, Republican Senator uh, John Cornyn, great state uh, of Texas. Good to see you, uh, Senator. Good to see you. I had, re had a rent a car in Georgia with Texas plates, and I, I don't know. I felt, I felt good. I, I'm not really sure why. I like te I like Texas. <laughs> I really, I really like Texas. And I was proudly good. driving that thing around. People stayed out of my way. Damn it. Uh, so is, is this going to, <laughs> is this going to happen? Do you think? What, what, where do we stand right now? Well, Speaker Johnson has a two-vote margin in the House. His hope is to get uh, move forward forward separate uh, appropriation bills out of the 12 we're supposed to pass each year. But I'm afraid that uh, the, the, the time is so late and uh, we, the time is so short, I should say, between now and January the 19th, that in all likelihood we'll have to pass another short-term continuing resolution in order to try to get the appropriations process in place. But this could have been avoided if we had simply just started earlier. Uh, the Senate had passed uh, the Appropriations Committee 12 of these bipartisan appropriations bills that were ready for action on the floor of the Senate last summer. But uh, now time is so compressed and the, the, the deadline so short that I'm afraid we're looking at another short-term continuing resolution. I mean, normal Americans, uh, Senator, just... You know, that's an overused phrase about making sausage, but we, a lot of them really don't care about the minutia of trying to do all these things to keep the government open. What they do care about is that uh, government starts addressing some of these really big problems that we have. And, and one, one is immigration. We've been talking about all day long. And it, right. every day it seems like it, it's, it's more people are, are just cannot believe the situation we find ourselves in. And it does play into the, the funding that we're trying to do and funding Ukraine, funding Israel and everything else. What is the, the can you give me a, an outline of the big picture on what we, what we're, we need to do and, and what politicians should be doing for, uh, for the people? Well, there's no more, there's no state more negatively impacted than my state of Texas. We have 1,200 miles of common border with Mexico, uh, finally, uh, national leaders like the mayor of uh, New York and Washington, D.C. are finally taking notice because it's impacting them. But it's been impacting me and my constituents for the last three years where we've seen unprecedented levels of people showing up at the border and doing one of two things, either claiming asylum and being released into the interior of the United States or simply were being released with not even claiming asylum. And, and then, of course, then there are the uh, 1.7 million so-called gotaways that were evading law enforcement. This is a man-made disaster, and uh, the man who made it was Joe Biden because of his open border policies and the welcome mat that uh, he has put out to people coming from around the world, uh, literally hundreds of different countries, and uh, because they know they can make it. In the meantime, the people that continue to get richer are the criminal organizations that smuggle people from around the world, as well as the drug cartels that smuggled the drugs into the United States that killed 108,000 Americans last year alone. So this is a man-made disaster, and the man who made it is Joe Biden. Well, and then you talk, I, I see that that press secretary, every time someone feels a question, she has a, a pat answer for that. Did Republicans refuse to fund any money for... Uh, for closing the border. She's got some, some arcane bill that didn't pass because that was included in it. So that's the throwaway answer she's able to give someone fed to her. And that's what you hear every time. So, so everybody's we're just like this. We're just pointing blame at each other while terrorists could be entering the country and, you know, little babies are crawling on a rug that had fentanyl in it and they're dying. I mean, it's, it's, it's embarrassing as a country for the United States to be in this position. Yep. Well, we have, you mentioned the, uh, the emergency supplemental that the president's requested for Ukraine, for Israel, uh, for the Indo-Pacific, and, uh, and yes, the border, too. Um, Senator James Lankford, our colleague from, from Oklahoma, has been in uh, negotiations to try to use this unique point of leverage. And I think this is sort of an inflection point for the country. I've been in the Senate a long time now. And you're right, all we have been able to do is talk about it and nothing seems to happen. But I think this is a unique opportunity for us to actually do things that will make a difference in terms of the flow of people across the border. The problem is Congress can pass a law, 
but it's up to the executive branch, the president, to actually enforce the law. And so far, President Biden's been unwilling to use the laws already on the books to do just that. But we're going to not only provide more tools to control the border, but also for the next president uh, to uh, use as well, somebody who's more willing uh, to enforce the law and to control the influx of humanity across the border. I think there's uh, the primary season is coming up, Senator, like Tuesday, right? Right. What can you, I mean, I, I follow you on Twitter. I think you, you follow me. You're such a you know, straight-laced guy. Have you endorsed Donald Trump at this point <laughs> for president? <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm going to wait and let the primary voters make that selection. Uh, if the vote was today, it looks like President Trump would be the nominee, and I'll certainly support the nominee in my party over, uh, over Joe Biden. Uh, right. But I think there's still a story to be told here in, the, uh, in uh, Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina. And in my experience in politics has been that sometimes it's, it surprises you. So I'm right. going to wait to see how this unfolds.